Hey guys, welcome back. This week it is the Wallabies versus Los Pumas. Before this season, we probably thought this game would be a big one for who's going to end up third in the competition. Well, it is completely different now with the Wallabies, who is in good form at the moment, by the way. They are eyeing a spot in second place behind New Zealand. If they can win against Argentina this week and the Springboks manage to lose again a third week in a row against New Zealand... The Australians will go second place in the rugby championship and that would be a proud moment for them indeed. But on the other hand, Argentina, it is a big game for them to actually prove what they can do to actually get their first win of the competition this year as well. And we probably thought before this competition that this team will do a lot better than they are. So let's get into the two sides. For Los Pumas, it's the first time in this year that they haven't made any changes to their side so uh, last week I have to say in that first half they didn't play really well but that, that second half against the All Blacks they really actually played better uh, they didn't capitalize on all the opportunities they created but they looked like a more uh, classic uh, Los Pumas team they looked like they're gonna score a couple of times just didn't round it off uh, quite as well but they looked better. So in this game, I think there is going to be a lot of running and attack because that is the two teams' uh, DNA, actually. Getting to the two front rows, no changes there for either side. Gigena, Montoya, and then Medrano. Medrano, he's playing, uh, like I say, every week in Australia where he is actually playing his rugby for Western Force. James Slipper, the veteran at number one. Fahinga at number two. Montoya and Fahinga, I think that's going to be a big battle. And then Tupo, he's really played well this season for the Wallabies at number three up against Gagena. Then we get to the second row, Alemano and Lavanini. They played well last week, Lavanini. If you can get him in a game where he doesn't get yellow cards, it usually does go well for him. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons he's kind of fell out of favor in recent years as the starting lock. But now he is in the second game as the starting lock and he has a big task ahead because Roda and Philip. That is a big task when it comes to line out town. Mall is also a big one. Los Pumas, they have a good mall uh, these days as well. And line out time is also big for them. At the loose forwards, there's actually a change for the Wallabies bringing in uh, a, still a new guy, Liotta. I think this is his second cap playing up against Gonzalez, who's also playing his second or third game. So two young number sixes. Liotta is probably in for Swinton. Uh, I think Rennie had a little bit of a jab at Swinton on his tackling technique because he's just always in trouble, the guy. Marcos Crema, the very hard player on the park for Los Pumas. He just always wears his heart on his sleeve, just like Matera at number eight. Hooper at number seven, if you talk about wearing heart on the sleeve, he is the epitome of Wallaby rugby. He just gives his all every single game. Uh, he's just battered and bruised every single game. And he is a big thing for them on the park. Uh, if he isn't there, they usually do not play so well. At number 8, Matera. He continues there. I think last week was the first time he played at number 8. A little bit of an experiment how he plays there. They had to move it about a little bit. And Valentini on number 8 as well. I have to say he hasn't impressed me that much so far this season. Bertomeau, he's at number 9. Versus Nick White, the veteran. So that's going to be a big battle there. Quade Cooper, another veteran at number 10. Versus Carreras, who is pretty new in the number 10 position. I mean, last week was his first game we've ever seen him at number 10. He played against Barrett. That first half probably struggled a little bit. But that second half, he actually got the ball into space. And he got it. Uh, so it looked like they're going to score a couple of times. So he might be able to handle the pressure of playing against Quade Cooper. Especially where both teams like to get the ball moving a little bit more as well. Uh, Sinti is at number 13, joining Chocobares at number 12. It's the second time these two centers are playing together, and it's a very young combination. Up against a young guy in Iketau, but Kerevi at number 12, he's been tearing it up in the rugby championship. He's probably one of my uh, guys I have to mention as one of the players of the competition so far, because without him, that Wallaby's line would be probably pretty flat because he carries that ball forward every single time. Doesn't matter who's in front of him. He made a little bit of mincemeat with the Islander with in front of him. So Chocobares, who is a strong guy, will have to stand his ground. 
Then we get to the wingers. Cordero, the little small stepper. He's always dangerous. Buffelli at number 11. Like I say, I prefer him at number 15 with that big boot of his. Then for the Wallabies on the wings, Callaway, who scored a couple. Kurabeti, who's such a dangerous winger. He's just racking up the meters, racking up the tries as well. Always a dangerous player there. At the fullback, the Wallabies needed to make a change with Banks, who is injured. So Hodge steps in. I don't think he is playing that well at the moment, actually. But his versatility is just brilliant for them. A big boot of his as well, where he can just slot it over from everywhere. And then just he can just slot in everywhere on the park as well. So Hodge is up against Malia, who's also been in good form at the back for the Los Pumas. Then we get to the two benches. Los Pumas have... A couple of new guys yet again for the team. They have a lot of youngsters uh, in this Los Pumas team. They are backing a couple of new guys to push out some of the veterans who are letting them down at the moment. So in that front row with Susino, you see Martinez is going to make his debut with Perieto. And then Kaitu'u, he's up against uh, Susino. Bell continues alongside Tom Robertson. So it's two big front rows going up against each other. We'll see who gets the upper hand there i have to say the los pumas front row hasn't been that good in the second half uh, when coming on this season but last week it looked like they had a bit of force when coming on but now they have a new uh, debutante in that front row guido petty one of the best locks in the world in my opinion goes up against darcy swain so it's gonna be a big battle for swain to get ascendancy at lock time then we get the strong carrier pete samu up against another debutante ovido uh, We'll see how these two go up against each other. Garcia, who made his debut a couple of weeks ago, he continues at number 21 versus Tate, Tate McDermott. He's just such a dangerous guy around ruck time. I can almost guarantee he's going to score a try in this game because the Los Pumas, they, their defense is not that good uh, just next to the ruck in that ABC channel. So I have a feeling McDermott might score a try in that second half. Domingo Miotti, he continues at number 22, still not trusted in the starting team. Then the Wallabies, they have a big name to bring back to their squad. James O'Connor, Jock is back to the side. Earlier this season in the AU, in the AU season, I thought he's probably the best 10 in the country at the moment. Unfortunately, he got injured before that French series, so he's been out for quite a while, so he has to work his way back now. His injury has made the way for a guy like Quay Cooper to come back in. So everything happens for a reason for Australia as well. Then Jordan Pataya at number 23, the youngster, up against another debutante in Carreras. We'll see how they go up against each other. But Pataya, always a dangerous guy wherever he slots in on the park. This game is being played in Townsville. They don't play test matches there, so it is a big day for them there it's quite hot for that time of day as well not that windy as the game just before it with the Springboks and New Zealand so hopefully they they can have a good tactical kicking game as well the Australians love playing that 50-22 rule game as well so guys I have to back the Wallabies they are looking in superb form looks like they almost look like the Wallabies of old so I think the Wallabies will win this one by let's say eight points Los Pumas will put up a good fight but just won't win it in this one. Let me know your prediction down in the comments below. Also, check out these videos next to me. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more international rugby videos. And then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye.